the last few decades, all of the major armies around the world have shown an interest in the development of remote-controlled devices. These are meant to perform various tasks and intended to supplement or even replace human soldiers in dangerous situations, thus reducing the risk to human life. The tasks of these remote-controlled devices are many, ranging from reconnaissance, target identification, ammunition, equipment resupply, transport, engaging, destroying designated targets, etc. etc. The Serbian Army, in a desire to follow international arms development trends in unmanned ground vehicles, began developing a series of its own vehicle. One of these projects was the short-range anti-tank system named simply Milica, a Serbian female name. It was, in essence, a small remotely controlled tracked vehicle armed with two anti-tank launchers. G'day guys, my name is Stewie and today I'll be covering the Milica, discussing its history, design and fate. Before I start, Tanks Encyclopedia needs your help. We are looking for people willing to volunteer for video editing. Making these videos isn't too demanding or complicated, so anyone is welcome. However, punctuality is important. If you are interested, leave a comment or contact us using the Discord link in the description below. Jugo Import was founded back in 1949 with the intention of acquiring necessary military equipment for abroad for the JNA. After 1953, Jugo Import expanded the scope of its business to the export of domestic military equipment. In 2006, Jugo Import was reorganised and became a Serbian state-owned public enterprise. During the following years, Jugo Import would continue to work on improving the performance of a number of older projects developed during pre-Civil War Yugoslavia. It also began a series of experiments to develop new technologies and weapon systems, including self-propelled artillery vehicles, armoured cars, APCs, and multiple launch rocket systems. During the late 2000s, Jugo Import was also involved in the development of a number of remote-controlled systems meant to perform different tasks, ranging from reconnaissance to the anti-tank. These included the Sparrow unmanned aircraft, APOS automated anti-tank system, DALOS remotely controlled light modular observation combat station, and the Milica modular robot system. Milica was primarily intended to provide infantry with a remotely controlled anti-armor close support system that could engage modern MBTs. It could also be used to engage and destroy enemy firing positions and fortifications. The Milica system was intended to be fully modular, which meant it could be adapted to fulfill various combat roles, but also secondary non-combat duties. Other roles included helping infantry with gathering intelligence, monitoring and observing areas that were not yet fully secured, transporting spare equipment, ammunition, and even transporting wounded soldiers. It was presented for the first time to the public at the Military Partner 2009 Fair Held in the Serbian capital, Belgrade. Inspiration for the Milica's overall design was taken directly from the BVP M80 infantry fighting vehicle. Back in the 1960s, the JNA placed a request for a fully protected infantry fighting vehicle. From this, the BVP M60 was developed. As it proved to be unsatisfactory, a new model, BVP M80, was therefore developed to replace it. It was a large improvement in contrast to the earlier model and was provided with a fully rotating turret and anti-tank rockets. From 1976 to 1988, around 658 M80s were built. Despite their old age, a number of these vehicles are still in use with the Serbian army. While there is limited information on its interior, based on the available pictures, it can be seen that the hull was divided into a few sections. The transmission was placed in the front of the hull, followed by the electric motor. The batteries and other equipment needed for controlling and powering the main weapon system were stored to the rear of the vehicle. The Milica's superstructure was taken more or less from the M80. It had a very simple design with a highly angled front plate, slightly less angled sides and flat rear. There were a number of rectangular shaped hatches placed in the superstructure to provide easy access to the different components stored inside. In the front angled glacis there was a hatch for access to the engine and the transmission. Three hatches were placed on top of the superstructure, with two in the front and to the rear. The last hatch was placed at the rear. Next to it, there was a round shaped plug, possibly used for powering the main motor and system batteries. All of these hatches were held in place by simple screws, so removing them was quite easy. The Milica's superstructure was built using simple welded steel plates. The thickness of these plates is unknown, but probably only enough to provide protection from small caliber weapons. Its great protection was its relatively small size. The Milica was 1.9 meters long, 1.72 meters without the main armament, 0.77 meters wide, and had a height of 0.77 meters. 
The suspension was another element that is quite similar to that of the M80, albeit with one more road wheel. The suspension consisted of six small road wheels, which were independently suspended with torsion support units. In addition, there was a front drive sprocket, rear idler, and three return rollers. The sources do not provide information about the engine type or its power output. What is known is that an electrical motor was used. With a weight of 250 kilograms, its maximum speed is only three kilometers an hour. Its effective operational autonomy was noted to be two to four hours. It can climb a 30 degree slope and is supposed to possess amphibious capabilities. A H-shaped metal firing platform was bolted to the superstructure top. This is then used to house either the two 9mm M79 OSA or a single 12cm M91 anti-tank rocket launcher. The 9cm M79 OSA anti-tank rocket launcher is in service with the Serbian army and its purpose is to engage enemy armour and fortified positions. Its effective range is 350 meters, and the maximum effective range is 650 meters. Armor penetration power is 400 millimeters of rolled homogeneous armor. The elevation of the Milica weapon platform was minus 20 degrees to plus 50 degrees, and the traverse was 350 degrees. It could not rotate a full circle. Elevation speed was three degrees a second, while the traverse speed was slightly faster at six degrees a second. The two launchers were fired independently, once both tubes were fired, the Milica had to be driven back to a safe position to be reloaded. Depending on the combat requirement, the Milica could be armed with a 12cm M91 rocket launcher for improved anti-tank capabilities. This is a disposable light shoulder launch rocket launcher that is in service with the Serbian army. The M91 consists of two components, the launcher and the shaped charge rocket projectile. The shaped charge warhead contained phlegmatized explosives and a contact type electric super quick fuse. Its penetration power against rolled homogeneous armor is around 800 millimeters. Secondary targets, like fortified enemy positions, could be engaged at ranges up to 400 meters. Currently there is no picture of Milica being armed with this weapon. While these two were intended to be the Milica's primary armament, other weapon systems depending on the field requirement could be used instead. These options ranged from different types of machine guns, grenade launchers, to possibly even small caliber gunners. The Milica was a wireless remote controlled system that was operated from a concealed command post. The effective wireless control range is around 500 meters. The command unit of the vehicle consists of a control system with telecommunication modules. In addition, there is also a laptop computer which is used for choosing the camera mode and for finding targets. The Milica's movement and weapon system were controlled by a console with an alphanumeric monitor. The sources do not mention the precise number of operators that were needed to properly control the Milica. For directly observing surroundings and possible targets, the Milica was provided with an all-weather, day and night, black and white internet protocol surveillance camera. This camera also possesses high sensitivity electrical and optical zoom. The camera itself was placed in a protective housing above the two rocket launchers. When the prototype was completed, it was tested at the Nikinchi Experimental Military Test Range in November 2009. It underwent a number of firing tests, and while the sources do not go into much detail regarding these tests, they note that the Milica performed satisfactorily. As mentioned earlier, it was presented for the first time to the public in 2009. In the following year, it was still presented at the Military Pana Fair held in Belgrade, in the hope of gaining some foreign interest. It appears that the Milica was not adopted for service within Serbia, nor anywhere else in the world. In recent years, the Serbian army appears to have adopted, in limited numbers, another similar system. This is named the Milos Remote Controlled Unmanned Platform. The Milica was one of the first modular robotic systems developed by the Serbian arms industry. It offered an alternative way of supporting infantry operations, minimalizing the risk to the soldiers operating it. While it was not adopted for service, it provided Serbian engineers with valuable experience in designing and building such systems. This would lead to the development of newer systems that entered limited service in recent years.